Good morning, church. Good morning. Welcome to worship. We're delighted you're all here, and our special welcome to our family that's here for Alexis's baptism this morning. We're delighted you're all uh, with us in worship this morning. And speaking of birth and new birth, uh, new life, uh, Matt and Jessica just had a baby girl born last night in St. Cloud. So Todd and Deb Hughes are grandparents again. They have not named the baby yet, but uh, Jessica's delighted because there's a baby girl now to join their three boys. Uh, so uh, our delight and joy is with that family. Um, we certainly want to continue to keep Margaret Hartman in our prayers. She was hospitalized this week, had complications from her stroke and a seizure, but is doing better. So we'll hope and pray things go well for her. Um, and Joni Ahart's uh, procedure went well, so hopefully things are on the upswing for her as well. Uh, any other, uh, uh, yeah, I know Nancy's got an announcement. Anybody else that's sick or that I didn't hear about this week that we need to take note of? Okay, seeing no hands go up, we are going to invite Nancy Johnson up, uh, and then Robin also has an announcement to share this morning. Our library is going to be going under some changes, some updates, and part of the updating is all of our videos. I realize that we no longer use VCRs like we did before, we now have DVDs. But our library has a multitude of these tapes, Veggie Tales, David and Goliath, Panquins, Kingsley's Meadow. These are all tapes that teach the younger children from about two to six about facing their fears, courage, Bible stories, and this type of thing. If you would like us, we do have the ability to change these tapes into DVDs. But before we go to the expense of doing that, we want to make sure that they will be used, that moms will pick, pick them up and use them just like these have been used. So therefore, I would like you to let one of the librarians know. I'm going to ask uh, Arla Rodner if she will stand, and Bonnie Hagen. I think Bonnie's out here. Uh, others back over there. Uh, Donna Peterson is on the board. Janet Hartman is. Karen Evanson is. Uh, if you see any of us, let us know in the next week or so if you would be interested in having these change to DVDs. Otherwise, this will be part of the giveaway program that we're going to have at the end of the month with things that are excess in our library. So please let us know what your pleasure is about these. And if you would like them to be turned to DVDs, we will do so. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. And now we'll have a word from Robin about the Red Hearts. And we do want to thank Dean Gruber down at the uh, Manor for all the work that he's done. And he should also have a Red Heart. Let's hear what that's about now, Rob. Okay, today I'm going to talk about two things. Um, first of all, I would like to give everyone an update on the ELCA malaria campaign. This year, Sunday school students had a goal of giving $400 to fight malaria, which is about double of what their usual offerings are. To participate in the campaign to bring efforts to Liberia, the ELCA had a goal of raising $200,000 by May 1st. I'm happy to report that with the help of Mission Meals and other donations, we were able to send a check for $647.24. Amen. Amen. In addition, we'll be mailing another check uh, in the next week or so for a little over $100, which is additional money and offerings that have come in for a total of about $748. Um, if anyone's interested in designating any offering or funds toward uh, that project, there's still time because we'll be sending that check in in a week or two. So thanks for everyone that helped with the malaria campaign. And then also regarding the hearts, um, today we're making a special effort to publicly recognize all members uh, whom the Holy Spirit has created committed hearts and a willingness to serve at Nathaniel. Um, the heart stickers are a small way to show appreciation to all that each of you do. We decided to do this today for three reasons. Uh, number one, the scripture encourages it. For example, in Romans, Apostle Paul named, named off people who worked with him. Um, it honors Christ. He gives each of us tasks, and um, big or small, that each task matters. 
And finally, it blesses Christ's body, the church. Uh, the Bible encourages us to build up one another and recognize the importance of each member of the body of Christ. And we did this today, um, especially because we are honoring our Sunday school teachers as, as it's the last day of Sunday school. And I'd like to especially recognize uh, this year's teachers, Greg Yeager, Tanya Rasmussen, Tylene Nelson, Sandy Barnes, Lori Miller, Shanna Hake, Ashley Schnedeker, Dean Moeller, Pat Bunkowski, Kim Erickson, and then there were lots of other people who helped and were substitutes. So it's been a great year. Thanks so much. We can't say thank you enough to you, Robin, for all your work and praise God for your faithfulness as well. Um, we've got a couple sign-up charts, uh, clipboards that I'm going to send around. Uh, those who can help out this Saturday starting at 9 a.m. Anytime Saturday morning you want to drop by with a rake or um, a uh, broom or whatever you can do to help spruce up Nathaniel this, uh, this Saturday morning is when we are going to do that. So I'm going to send this clipboard around and if you can sign up and uh, participate we would love to have you. And then we've trained four communion servers to bring our friends at the Manor communion. And so we need to have you sign up uh, for communion serving. I'm going to pass it to Nancy and we'll get that around to the rest of the communion servers that have been trained. We also got a communion serving training for 10 a.m. on Saturday uh, at the Manor. So those that uh, have signed up that are interested in helping serve communion at the Manor, please uh, take note that we've got another opportunity for training for that. Um, those are the announcements I have. Do we have any other congregational announcements that need to be made this morning? <coughs> Mr. Wilson. Good morning. It's nice to see you today. We do have uh, Alcestor Community Choir Concert this, uh, this coming Monday, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock at Dal Rumble. We also have some people coming from Alcestor, or it's pronounced Alcestor, England, that are going to be here this Friday. Uh, they're coming over because uh, they're interested in seeing the other side of the world that has their name. And uh, we've also come to learn that they have a community choir in Alster, England. And we're kind of thinking maybe we're going to do a, uh, a trip over there in the year 2014. So if you're interested, there is a concert tonight. And we're going to have a little get together uh, Friday. I'm not exactly sure what time, but if you're interested, let me know. We're going to have a little pasta dinner for them and show them some videos on the big screen. And, Thank you. Probably should give a reminder of youth group uh, this coming Saturday as well at 1 o'clock right here at Nathaniel. Okay, uh, would you please stand as we turn to our uh, opening of our worship and our bulletins, Remembrance of Baptism with Confession and Forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and have put ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, not all and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your Spirit, so that we may live and serve you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together in Christ. By grace you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with the power through the Holy Spirit that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. We sing our gathering hymn.
worship continues on page 147 in the forepart of your red worship hymnals. <coughs> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. In peace let us pray to the Lord. the peace from above and for our salvation let us pray to the Lord for the peace of the whole world for the well-being of the church of God and for the unity of all let us pray to the Lord For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise let us pray to the Lord help save comfort and defend us gracious Lord glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. with you. And also with you together let us pray oh God you have prepared for those who love you joys beyond understanding pour into our hearts such love for you that knowing you above all things we may obtain your promises which exceed all we can desire through Jesus Christ your son our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Congregation may be seated as we invite our baptismal candidate, parents and sponsors forward for the baptism. God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and the word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all who are baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. I now ask for the presentation of our candidate for baptism.
called by the Holy Spirit and trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your child baptized into Christ? I now ask you as parents and sponsors to respond, I do. As you bring your child to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with responsibilities to live with them among God's faithful people, to bring her to the Word of God and the Holy Supper, teach her the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments, place in her hands the Holy Scriptures, and nurture her in faith and prayer, so that your child, Alexis, may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others in the world God made, and work for justice and peace. Do you promise to help Alexis grow in Christian faith and life? And again, I ask you parents and sponsors to respond, I do. Sponsors, do you promise to nurture, these, to nurture Alexis in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit to help her learn, live in the covenant of baptism? and in communion with the church? If so, answer, I do. People of God, do you promise to support Alexis Ray and pray for her in her new life in Christ? If so, answer, we do. We do. Would the congregation please stand? I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus rejects sin and confess the faith of the church. This is a response for the whole gathered people of God. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? Do you renounce the forces and powers of this world that rebel against God? Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Congregation may be seated. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family, and through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raise us up to life in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. You can gather right up there around the floor, a little closer. Okay. If you slip in behind, it's up above. There we go. All right, you ready? You look like you're ready. Huh? Oh. Here, let me get you over. Okay, here we go. Alexis Ray, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Is that so bad? <laughs> Just a little bad. That's who you used to give a bath, right? <laughs> okay. Let 
us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through water and the Holy Spirit you give your daughters and sons new birth. Cleanse them from sin and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Alexis Ray with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Alexis Ray, child of God, you've been marked with the cross of Christ and sealed with the Holy Spirit forever.